Jimmy, we're here with the D&B Audio Technic Max 15 Wedge. Uh, D&B, obviously very premium brand, very well known for line arrays, very well known to the audience. Uh, we've got a wedge here, you know, it's all about the musician. So what's good, bad and ugly? First off, what's good? Good is how it sounds. Um, look, it, it's, it actually, it, it feels lighter feels than I light. expected yeah. to. Mm. Um, we ran it off a D6 amp, which notionally I think on the spec gives you up to 131 dB SPL, which is quite a lot, mm. considering the power handling is stated as 250 watts RMS. Yeah, it's efficient. Yeah, uh, look, I, I think that that's quite a bold claim, mm. or quite a low power handling to list for a 15 horn. Mm. Um, Unless, of course, it sounds like this. Yeah, loud. It, it is loud. <laughs> Look, I like my wedges to, to be able to scare me a bit, and this does, certainly. Mm. Um, there, there are a lot of other good things. I mean, it's it's designed primarily as a wedge, mm. but there is a top hat yep. and a safety wire attachment point. Yep. You can use it as a downfill box. You mm -hmm. can use it on a stick. Um, the pattern on it is a 60 degree conical, mm -hmm. and the response seems pretty consistent across that. Yep. The other thing is that once you move it away from you, as you would say on, I don't know, a concert stage, mm -hmm. um, it still sounds the same. You just turn it up, and it, it sounds exactly like it's still in front of you. Oh, that's what you want. It's mm. very much what you want. It's I like predictability in a mm. wedge, and this is very predictable. Okay, so what's bad? Um, look, there's not a lot. I, I think, to me, this grill flexes a bit too much. There, there's, there's obviously this removable mm. covering. There's a metal grill underneath, mm. uh, and I, I feel like it flexes a bit, but we sort of have yeah, different Yeah, I disagree with you that. on that. I think the fact that it's flexible actually means that it's, it's probably less likely to, to, snap. to be damaged and be snapped like some older wedges that I've used. So, you know, I think that one's um, line ball. All right, so ugly. Anything ugly? Look, not really. I, it looks like a wedge, and it's, it's a pretty good-looking wedge. Mm. The only thing that plays against it on that is its physical height, you know, mm, so that mm. we, we're seeing a lot of fairly low profile yeah. wedges out now. Yep. This is definitely not low profile, mm. but it's not a bad looking wedge and um, look for the performance you get out of it. And the coverage. Yeah. And the coverage. And and the thing is, I actually asked for a pair of these mm. and one turned up and that was actually, as it turns out, enough. <laughs> You're um, still with us. <laughs> I, I'm, still, I'm still alive. Uh, but look, I don't think you actually need to run these in pairs. And if no. you're using a lot of just you know, bog standard cardioid mics, mm. then single wedges is, is something that uh, mm. is actually quite helpful in terms of keeping the wedge in the null of the mic. Mm. So mm. look, a, a single one of these is going to give you plenty of go, plenty of predictability and bucket loads of output. Okay.